Jeff Fabry, four-time Paralympic archer for Team USA. So what we're gonna do here, and we're gonna build a mouth tab that I prefer to shoot. Gonna need a nylon dog leash and a upholstery needle. You have clamps, scissors, and a lighter. First thing we need to do, we need to figure out where the mouth tab is gonna go. So what I typically do, I'll take and put my knock set on the string itself. Once I have my knock set in place, I know the arrow is gonna lay below the knock set. My mouth tab will go above the knock set. The reason I like to have the tab above the knock set is I can get more peep height so I can cast the arrow at a, at a further distance using my sights. If I had the mouth tab below the knock set, then we're probably only gonna get 25, 30 yards out of, out of using the sight. The dog leash itself, I like to use something that's about a half inch in width. The reason I like it in half inch, it seems like when I put it on and I have to twist it, there's less bind. Also, with a narrower material, there's just a little bit less weight, so less movement in the string when the shot leaves. First thing we're gonna do is take our material, fold it over the bowstring. You're gonna wanna make sure you leave enough length to when you cut it, you're gonna have the right amount of material to bite on. I usually go to my first knuckle, and I know that's the length I need. That's gonna pretty much vary from archer to archer, and when you do create your first one, let's go a little bit longer, that way you can cut it down if needed, because if you make it too short, you're just gonna have to cut it right off and build it again. So we fold the material over the bowstring, we're gonna take our clamp, clamp the material together, then let's double check it, make sure the sides are lined up. Next, we'll take our needle and thread. Always begin right next to the string at the bottom side. And I wanna start sewing up along the string, then back around the perimeter. Once I make a complete perimeter run, I'm gonna come up to the middle of the material and stitch down the center and tie it off. And with the thread, take both ends and create a loop out of it. This way, when I run it through the material, I can run it back through itself and it'll secure nice and tight. When I begin my initial two stitches, I'm gonna come slightly up from the bottom, punch through, pull the material almost all the way through, but I'm gonna leave just a little bit of a tag in for a loop. Then I'm gonna make my run back through the material and come up. And if you look right here, I've left the loop end out that way I can run the needle back through. If you notice from time to time, I'll take and spread the loop out and give it a little tug. What we're doing is making sure that what we've just sewn, there's no slack in, in any of the material. Everything's nice and tight. We don't have to worry about anything shifting after we've built the tab. Now that I've pretty much ran the length of the top of the tab, I wanna take and measure it, see if I'm close to my mark. I just go off my first knuckle. So I look down there and yeah, my last stitch came up almost exactly the length I wanted it. So now we'll begin sewing down the tab and then across the bottom back towards the string. So now I'll put a stitch or two in coming up and then I'll finish stitching out through the middle of the material. So now I've served down the middle of the material on my last stitch. I leave the tag end up, pull a little bit of slack out of that. Now I'll run my needle down and up. So I've got a, a loop. Now I'm gonna run my needle through this loop twice. And snug it up for a nice tight fit. We have material all sewed together. So I'm gonna cut the string here, then I'm gonna cut the tab, and we'll burn the ends and we'll get out shooting. Okay, so we have the finished tab here. You'll notice there's a distance between the tab and the knocking point. The center serving's rolled on, and this tab, even though it's tight, you can spin it and it'll follow the direction of the center serving. 